All right, we are going to get into our name tag. So the first step I would do is to click on the I on the right hand side to just kind of hide the text and I would also go up to view and click on extra to hide the grid. You need to get your picture in. So the first thing after you get it set up you're going to go into open and you're going to go into your J drive folder. And it's going to be in my hall pass. It is my selfie. Here's Pete and I up the North Shore. I am going to cut Pete out of the picture. Sorry, Peter. So I'm going to use my navigator to zoom in just on myself. And then I'm going to go up to the quick selection tool and select myself. So here you can see the plus add a selection or the minus to subtract the selection. So we're going to come through and start clicking and try to get most of me. It's kind of funny always seeing yourself. You can hold down the mouse too to make it a little bit faster. Oop, I think I got too much. So if I get too much, if I take the little minus tool, I can minus and kind of tell the computer, nope, that's too far. All right, let's go back up to the plus. I want to make sure I get my glasses in there. Kind of work my way down my face. Do your best to select neatly. It does make a big difference. My shirt in there. All right, right here, I need to minus. Yeah, good enough. If I want to shrink down the, the selection tool, if you use your brackets on your keyboard, the brackets are to the right of the letter P. You can shrink it down or you can increase the size. But don't get too picky. As long as you get most of your stuff, you're fine. All right, so we use the quick selection tool to select most of me. And then I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to click refine edge. And I'm just going to feather a little bit around my edge so it's not so sharp. And press OK. There we go. Now when I brought my picture in, here's my selfie JPEG. And here is my blank student pass. So they're just different pieces of paper. So if I click up here, I'm going up to edit and I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to click on my blank student pass. And down in my layers box to the left of the garbage can, it is the create a new layers tab. So I'm going to make a new layer with that layer highlighted in blue. I'm going to go up to edit and paste. Now I came in a little bit large, so you can go up to edit and free transform, or you can hit control T on your keyboard. You got to shrink yourself down to get the right size. I have this flat edge here and I kind of have a flat edge there. So where am I going to go? We'll go over here. Your picture should be nice and large so that you can, we can see yourself as you're walking around. Once you have your picture in the size that you want, you do have to click on the check mark to commit to that size. And there we go. Now I put myself right on top of the title or the letter, so I'm going to go into the layers box and click on the name, our teacher, that layer. And then I'm going to go up to the move tool and slide that over here. There we go. Next up, we need to bring in some background imagery. If you go, kind of minimize it, and you're going to go into the lovely world of the internet, you're going to find a background picture that you like. Part. 
Park. And click on Images. Aha! I've always wanted to go to this place, the arches. I like that one. And once you find a picture that you like, you do want to click on View Image so that you get the largest, clearest picture that you can possibly get. You're going to right click and you're going to copy the image. Then go back into Photoshop and right above the background. Actually, we can probably put it on the background. Let's drag that lock off the background. With the now layer 0, that was the background, but I dragged the lock off, so now it's layer 0 highlighted in blue. You're going to go up to Edit, and you're going to Paste. Now I'm going to Edit, Retransform, and shrink it down so that I can see the whole picture. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> now to make myself stand out a little bit, maybe I want to go up to view. Uh, which one is it? Filter. There we go. Filter. Blur. Uh, you can blur the background a little bit. If I go to Gaussian Blur. So notice that on the right hand side, layer 2, the layer with my picture, is highlighted in blue. I went up to Filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and now I can blur my background just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Sure. Okay. That looks alright. Um, a couple other things you can do is if you go into Opacity, maybe I want to make my picture a little bit more opaque, so I'm going to click on the layer with my picture on it. And opacity kind of makes you a little more see-through. Ooh, I kind of like it. Um, I can also go up to Image, Adjustments. These are kind of fun, too. Invert. Whoa, that looks crazy. Let's go to our history. Step backwards. Your history kind of lets you go back to where you came in. Let's see. Maybe I'll do that to the background here. Image. Adjustments. Posterize. Oh yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool. Not so much, a lot. I like just a little bit. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe I'll make that opacity a little bit more. There. All right. So so far, I'm pretty happy. I might move myself over a little bit here. There we go. Now I have to put on my text, the last step. If I click on the layer with the text, I'm then going to go over to the T. Notice that changes the option bar, so I can choose um, a text that I like. Maybe a font, that's fine. My name is Amy Gale. I am in our one. And my teacher's name is Gail. Now if I want to change the color, this is really fun. You can select right behind. So you kind of got to come right behind the last letter. Make sure your layer of your text box is, is highlighted in blue. And you can go up here. And you can change the color. And if I want, maybe I do it the color my t-shirt. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, I don't really like having these lines, so I'm going to delete some of those. Make it look nice. You're going to see this for quite a bit, I would say. Why can't I capitalize it? Ah. All right, back again. Miss Gale's having issues. Amy 
Abigail Greet. Hour one. Gail. Select and I want to change the color to my shirt. Okay. Well, maybe I'll make it full too. Nope. I'll make it a little bigger. There. Yeah. Can I read it? Yes. Is it easy to see? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. All right. So I'm going to file, save as. Please make sure that you save it in your J-Drive folder. I'll pass. And when you save this, you're going to put your name on it, and you are going to change the format to a JPEG, not JPEG 2000, just plain old JPEG. And press Save. Whenever this option comes up, you can always say OK. And then before you close it out, I do ask that you also save as, and I will make a folder in our J Drive class folder. So there will be a folder in here that says student passes, and then I'll go in and I'll print them all. So you'll want to save it to your J Drive, but also then save it to the class student pass folder as a JPEG, and then I will print them and get them to you. Hang on to these. This is your ticket out of class to take pictures during the school day. Thank you.